Now is the time to move on and talk about how we can easily create our DHCP lab. To practice this course, you need to have a Windows client, DHCP server, and Active Directory server. You may ask, why do we need an Active Directory? Because we need to authorize this DHCP server to the Active Directory. And here is my PC, as you can see which is install VMware Workstation version 15. If you don't have VMware Workstation, you can download it and easily install the trial version and practice this course. Otherwise, you can practice this course with VMware Player, which is the free edition. And of course, you can practice this course with VirtualBox. But uh, VMware Workstation actually after 13 days, which is the trial version, you need to pay for the license. So at least you must have Core i5 CPU or Core i3, it's acceptable. And you need to have 16 GB of RAM. Less than this amount of RAM, which is 16, it's very hard to run all the virtual machine because you need at least 3 or 4 GB for Windows client, 4 GB for DHCP server, and again 3 or 4 GB for Active Directory. If you count them, you can see at least you need 16 GB and SSD disk drive is more recommended. And here we have a virtual switch. Actually, this is not physically, just virtually. I can show you how we can install this virtual switch to connect these operating systems together. And here are the IP addresses. You can use whatever IP addresses that you like. The HTTP server IP address and Active Directory and Windows client, which is uses DHCP address later on when we configure DHCP server. As you can see, this is very simple lab and you can simply practice the whole configuration and advanced configuration of DHCP server. And later on, we want to actually take benefit of DHCP relay agent and how to configure it in our production environment. We have another lab, I should explain, another lab which is for a Cisco DHCP server. I will show you how you can install Cisco IOS V in your DNS tree and actually make it as a router or switch that actually acts as a DHCP server in your production environment. And I'm going to help you how you can master DHCP server with this lab and the second lab, which is for Cisco DHCP server. And for this course, you need Windows Server 2019 here and Windows 10 or Windows 8, Windows 7, whatever that you like. Of course, you can download Windows Server 2019 for installing your Active Directory and DHCP server and again, uh, act as a Windows client. If you don't have a Windows client, you can escape downloading the Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7. And this client again could be your Windows Server 2019 as a client. So where you can download the Windows Server 2019, just you have to type in Google Windows Server 2019 data center or standard ISO file download. So the first link actually points you to Microsoft website. So and as you can see, we have the trial version after this time, your Windows server will expire. So we'll say ISO file and continue. So you need to fill in this form. Actually, I already fill it and here we'll click on continue and here we'll select English language or whatever language that you like and we'll click on download. As you can see now, we can download our Windows Server 2019. So this is how you can download Windows Server 2019. Of course, you can do a search for Windows 10 or Windows 8 or whatever client that you like. But as I said, in this lab, you can only download Windows Server and install all of them as a Windows Server 2019. And these are the servers and this is going to be your client.